Hey friends, today is an absolutely beautiful but crazy day for me. And in fact, these are the type of days I don't often film whenever I've got so much on my plate. But you know what? I wanna take you with me because I get a lot of questions on how to juggle everything. Sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. So we have a lot going on this week. Tomorrow I'm having my sister over, my sister-in-law over. We're gonna have a fun day together and I'm gonna make um, something kind of fun and yummy for lunch. So I need to get some groceries for that. This weekend we actually go away to a cabin with my family and some other friends and it's a cabin we've went to since I was a very little girl. And in fact, since my dad was a boy, this cabin has been a family cabin that we've enjoyed every year. And so there's lots of food prep that needs to happen for that, lots of snacks and other things that need to be made for that. So later on this week, you all will go with me in the kitchen and we're gonna prep all of that. And then we also have some family pictures we're taking this evening and three out of the five in our family have clothes for the pictures. So there's two more that need some clothes, so we gotta stop and do that. I'll show you all the little dress I got my daughter that is kind of a floral print. It's so cute, and it's kind of what I'm bouncing my color scheme off of, so I, I'm taking that with me so that I can match it up to whatever else I'm picking up. And then I have my grocery list made. I really had to sit down and do some planning this morning. It is gorgeous today. The sun is shining. I think it's going to get right around 80 degrees. Beautiful, so I got up and I watered my patio garden this morning and just made sure that was all taken care of and I got a nice walk-in. I did about three miles, so that felt really good, kept me energized. And then I'm just making up some drinks to take with me. I love making my own drinks at home so that I don't stop and get something that has a bunch of sugar in it. I can make a little bit of a healthier option here at home. So this is a pineapple refresher, it has like the pineapple mango buy drink in it and also a pineapple bubbly and then some water and ice, super good. And then I have some collagen iced coffee here that I'm gonna drink as I'm kind of hiking out the door here. So I'm gonna take you guys with me and we'll just see how the day turns out. We're also going to make supper whenever we come home. I'm going to show you one of my absolute go-to simple, simple dinners that Whenever I'm in a pinch in a crazy day, we can make up. I've mentioned before that we only have a couple slow cooker meals that our family really enjoys, so I have to find other really quick meals to make. So I'm gonna show you that whenever we get back. Okay, so my first stop is Aldi, and I'm sitting in front of Aldi right now. I actually have my list written down. This is my like brain dump notebook I keep on my desk or sometimes on my kitchen counter or sometimes in my bag and I just have all of the things I need for the different things, activities and stuff that I told you at the beginning of this video. But I know that Aldi is across a lot of the US. I don't know if it's in other countries. Let me know in the comments if it is. And also, I do believe that Aldi is owned by the same person as Trader Joe's or the same company. I'm not entirely sure, but I've heard that. And you can tell by my cheeks that it's definitely getting warm outside. But I know that I'm not going to be able to get everything I need in here. Aldi is a little bit like Trader Joe's in the sense that they kind of carry a lot of the same things. They do get specialty products in, but you can't find everything here like a normal grocery store or like Walmart or something like that. So we are going to get as much as we possibly can off of my list. I'm hoping I can get a lot here because their prices are really good and the quality of their product is really good. So two things that are really interesting about Aldi is one, you have to purchase bags. If you're gonna use bags here at Aldi, you do have to buy them. They're usually a couple, like five cents, 10 cents, something like that. But most people bring reusable um, shopping bags to Aldi. And then they also have an interesting cart system, which I'm gonna show you guys um, that helps eliminate them having to hire someone to collect the carts here at Aldi. Okay, so what you need for a cart here at Aldi is a quarter, and you just put it into a little mechanism over here on the cart, and somebody left one sit here with the quarter in it, but for the sake of showing you, I'm going to show you on one that's right here. You put the quarter in like that, 
it unlocks the cart and then whenever you're done with the cart you just put it right back on here and you'll get your quarter back out and it saves them from having to have someone find the carts all the time. So right here inside the door, I'm seeing some special buys and we are going to get some snacks for the cabin, but there's nothing here that's really grabbing my attention that our family would probably like. So we're gonna let those go and we'll just move on to the next section, which is some more snacky stuff. Something I can almost always find at Aldi is gluten-free options, and I'm going to be making a Chex Mix, so I'm going to want some gluten-free crackers, and my daughter was asking for basically like a Cheez-It, and these say they're cheddar flavored. So I'm hoping that these can be a little bit like a Cheez-It in our Chex Mix, and then right above it, I also noticed that they have these guys which are super good and gluten-free that we can put into Chex Mix as well. They're like a crisp. All right, as we're shopping, the girls are requesting. So you want some of those for the cabin? All right, yeah. go ahead and grab some veggie straws. Go get, get two bags because some of your little cousins will probably want some too. Okay, strawberries are on my list um, because I'm going to be doing a French toast casserole this week and I thought they would be really good, just fresh sliced on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those. I'll just get one container. Such a good price here. I think they're $1.89 right now. Do you guys want some more oranges for this week? Just to snack on? They're so refreshing when the weather is hot. Okay, go ahead, Kai, you can put that in the cart. You wanna get some apples as a snack? Yeah, but go ahead and get the blue bag. Those are the galas. Check them out really well. Make sure that there isn't any that are soft. That's a great snack to have on hand. Something else on my list was some romaine hearts because I'm making a salad for my sister-in-law and I tomorrow as one of the things for lunch. And to go in our salad, I need some cucumbers, but the girls love these as snacks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab two nice sized ones. And speaking of for the salad, I love these. Um, grape or cherry tomatoes they are so good for dinner tomorrow night I'm going to be making some mini smash potatoes they do have these and they have the white ones as well they are the same price so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the more colorful mixture they don't really have a huge flavor difference but they're just a little prettier on the plate I'm going to be making a dip for the cabin and so I need some tortilla chips. We love these scoopers. I buy these all the time, but I think because it's going to be a cheese dip, it might be a little bit easier to eat with this size chip. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those. And I grabbed two. I'll probably take salsa as well, just as a snack. So in the spring, a lot of times they get potted flowers in and I'm just seeing everything they have. They also have some really pretty bouquets as well. These pretty spring flowers and then these wild crazy colors that of course the girls immediately were drawn towards. <laughs> They're so pretty. Okay, yep, you can grab three of those and we're gonna need those to make all the Rice Krispies. Actually, because these boxes are not the huge ones, I think we're gonna get four. I have two different kinds of Rice Krispies that I'm gonna be making for the cabin, and this is a great place to get it, for sure. And like I said, I am making Chex Mix, so we're gonna need a rice and a corn Chex for that, and this is obviously an off-brand, but works great. All right, between all the Rice Krispies I'm going to be making and what they're going to want to roast around the fire. We're going to need six bags of these. You ready, Hazley? You, you want to think you can carry all six bags? Yeah. <laughs> well, at least if you drop them, you know it's going to be a soft landing, right? Okay, four, five. Yep, you're right. One more. You were counting good. And I need one for mini marshmallows to put on top of the s'mores um style rice krispies i'm going to be making some of these look a little bit smushed together but this one looks like a good bag so we'll add that to our cart 
Something else each family brings to the cabin is their own paperware, and these are a pretty good price for like a good quality paper plate. So I'm gonna grab this while it's here, and I'm gonna see, we probably will need bowls as well. So they've got some bowls, and I'm gonna actually get two packs of these. I mean, whatever's left over, we'll have lots of campfires and stuff through the summer, so we may end up using them for that and i'm just looking at what else they have in their paperware section they do have cups but i don't want that kind i think i want some that are a bit smaller we've got some napkins but i'll probably just take a roll of paper towels for whatever we need by the campfire and i think that's everything I'll, oh they do have cutlery i wasn't sure if they did so we'll get one of the forks and i'm just seeing i think that they just have an assortment they don't look like they have just spoons. So you know what? I'm probably going to wait until I get to Walmart, which I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go there for some of this stuff to get separate spoons and forks because we don't really use the plastic knives and the cabin does have some butter knives if we need them. I just noticed that they actually have rose bushes sitting right here that you could take home and plant. So that's a unique thing. I don't know that I've seen that before here at Aldi, but I'm sure there's a good chance they do have them every year. Aldi has a specialty aisle where they get all kinds of things in. I mean, anything from serving dishes to garden uh, furniture. <laughs> I've seen all kinds of things here. I'm seeing that they have a bunch of like serving wear for the warmer months and just some really neat finds. I love this cutting board, or actually I believe it's a serving board. I just love the design of it. And they have storage for vegetables. They have these different egg products, which are kind of cute. I've seen those before. So that's neat that they got them in. I've actually even found organization bins here as well. So if you guys watch my home channel, you know that I'm always on the look for like really inexpensive storage bins. So that's a great deal. This is $7.99 and there's four, I think in here. Does it say four? or two, four labels with two containers. That's so neat. Going along with the home organization, they have these really neat canister sets with like the wooden lids. I'm all about having wooden accents and those are just so pretty. They would be really pretty in a pantry. They have ice pop molds down here, super fun. Oh, these are really cute. Look at those like kind of summer themed tumblers if you were going to host a party could easily make up some spritzers in those or refreshers they've got all kinds of water bottles right now and even more serving wear for outside these cute trays and containers that is so neat oh this you can like use for storage i love that color that's super pretty through the years, I've definitely taken advantage of their very well-priced candles. This is a unique one. It's got like three candles that can fit together and complement each other. And then here they have some other candles. This is an outdoor one for citronella and some warmers. That's really neat as well. The girls are all intrigued to buy these outdoor toys that they have right now. They have a bunch of different gardening stuff as well. They have these like these big planters. This looks like an outdoor storage thing. And these things I used to use all the time when the girls were little and had a ton of outdoor toys. They have some, um, but those are such great little storage items. These up here I think are so unique. I love this color. I think that they are a cooler backpack, if I have it right. Yep and would just be super fun for picnics and very sleek looking. Here they have some outdoor chairs. These are only $49, which is a super good deal for that style. Here's like a table, tray table for $9.99. And then they have like things for kids. This is a foldable picnic table. You can tell that a lot of people enjoy this because it's definitely getting picked through as spring is turning into summer. I just was seeing these spatulas. I think the colors are so cute and pretty for spring. Aldi always has a really good deal on their organic eggs. Super great price. So I'm gonna grab a couple of dozen. 
I do sometimes get them from neighbors. We do want to get chickens at some point, but it's just not happening right now. So <laughs> I just have to grab what I can while I can. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get three dozen. I like to check them for cracks and just make sure that I have enough eggs on hand with the different things I'm making. One of the things I need eggs for is my husband's grandmother's pudding recipe that I'll be making to take to the cabin that need, needs egg yolks. Gonna need some half and half and some heavy cream. And they are both a very good price here. trying to zip through this dairy section without getting too cold. So this is one thing that does beat out Costco's price and that is their grass-fed butter. And it's so delicious. So I also grabbed some sour cream and some almond milk here in the dairy section. Going to grab some feta for the salad. It's up there really high. <laughs> Um, for tomorrow, that's just, this is one of my favorite things to put on a salad is feta cheese. And then I got a couple of packs of hot dogs because the girls, we've been doing campfires and they've been wanting a hot dog to just roast, but also we will roast them up at the cabin as well. I'm going to get some white cheddar cheese for a dip and then also for the lunch I'm making tomorrow when my sister-in-law comes over. I came back to the baking aisle because I remembered I needed some brown sugar. I do often make my own brown sugar, but this week it's just a busy week, so I'm gonna grab some. I'm gonna grab some organic chicken tenders just to grill up for our salads tomorrow since it'll just be her and I. I don't need a huge pack. And they have this one organic one left. Okay, I'm gonna get frozen whip topping. This is not something I use very often but it is what goes in my husband's grandmother's pudding recipe, her homemade pudding recipe. You mix this in after you make up the pudding. Okay, friends, I am back home. It has been a bit of a crazy afternoon. So after I went to Aldi, we ran into Walmart, got a couple of things that Aldi didn't have. I'll show you in a second, but before we get into that, I have a pound or a pound and a half of ground pork. We got a pork done this winter and I can't remember what size packages we told them to put it in. So I think it's a pound and a half. That's what it looks like to me. And I'm gonna throw that into a skillet back here that has some oil in the bottom, one of our cast iron skillets. I just wanna get that started because we are on a major time pinch. Tonight's just been a really crazy night. My husband came home early from work to do some mowing and yard work. So I was able to call him while I was in town and he actually put the baked potatoes in the oven. So my go-to quick and easy dinner is loaded baked potatoes. And our favorite way to do it is with some ground pork. I'm gonna show you my little secret ingredient that I put into the ground pork that makes it so delicious. It's a very simple meal and my oven is up to temperature, but it's a very simple meal and it's one that everybody can kind of put on what they like. It's a great meal for company too, um, but it's a kind of all in one meal. You got your potato, you got your meat, you could do like green beans or a salad as a side and there you have it. So we're starting the meat back here. The potatoes are in thanks to my husband. Team, teamwork makes the dream work and that is for real whenever it comes to being a busy mom, a homeschool mom, and somebody that works from home. So what I think was the most amazing thing and I wanted to bring up the budget or like the cost of my grocery trip today, you all saw what I got, I think pretty much everything at Aldi. My total there was $180. And my Walmart total, which is everything included here except a box of ice pops that we're gonna have tomorrow when my sister-in-law comes over, was I believe, I could look on my receipt again, but I think it was right around $90 for what I have sitting in front of me, which is not much. 
So when it comes to using brand names or specialty items or things like that, I just really see how much Aldi can save me whenever I'm doing like regular style grocery shopping and not like monthly grocery shopping like you all have seen me do. So I am just going to go through this really quickly. I've got gluten-free pretzels for the Chex Mix. And I did tell you that I'm going to be making two different flavored Rice Krispies. One of them is gonna be Oreo. So I got some gluten-free Oreo. I don't know if I said this. I say it a lot on my channel, but we have a daughter with a gluten sensitivity. So we do a lot of gluten-free swaps. And I also grabbed a pack of gluten-free Oreos just for snacking this week, probably for tomorrow. And then a golden pack of gluten-free Oreos because my husband, he, those are his fave. And then because I'm doing a s'mores, Rice Krispie, I had to think what it was called for a second. I grabbed these to just do the little pieces of chocolate on top of the Rice Krispies for the s'mores. For the dish I'm making tomorrow, whenever my sister-in-law comes over, we are, I have gluten-free elbow pasta. I did find a pack of forks and spoons at Walmart, so that worked out really nice. Again, we've got gluten-free um, graham crackers. And these are going to go on a pudding, that that pudding that is from my husband's grandmother. Um, we're gonna that will go on this for the cabin weekend, and I'll probably break some of these up for the s'mores rice krispies as well. I'm doing a fun little treat tomorrow for when my sister-in-law comes over. So we just got a gluten-free yellow cake mix to make some fun little cupcakes. And then these go along with that, the fun little cupcakes is the little Teddy Grahams. And honestly, Walmart really saved the day today because I thought I was gonna have to go to another store to find the clothing that we needed for the photos we're taking tonight, which is what I gotta do next is finish kind of making dinner and go get ready and help three girls get ready too. But um, I thought that I would have to go somewhere else to find the clothes that I needed for the remaining family members that needed them. But I wanna show you the dress I was talking about earlier. So this jacket is what my husband is going to wear and you can see it's like this super pretty, pretty, very nice sage green. And then the dress that I'm kind of pulling colors and things from is actually this one. And you can see it's got a really pretty floral. And then I was able to find at the Walmart I went to today, the dress of almost the exact same color as my husband's jacket for my youngest. And then a cute little white cream set for my oldest. And then the dress I'm gonna be wearing is kind of a cream color as well. And also an undershirt for her with that. And then the last thing I have to show you is I did grab some disposable pans to take our food to the cabin. Um, I just figured it's gonna be a whole lot easier. And I wasn't sure if I had quite enough containers to take everything with me. So at least I've got some bonuses and they'll just be easy for that weekend. So I'm gonna have the ground pork just chopped up and frying while I'm putting some stuff away. I'm gonna show you guys how we put together the loaded baked potatoes and I have gotta get ready to get these pictures taken. All right, so the pork is pretty well done and I am going to scoop out some for myself because what I am about to add to this does have some sugar in it and I eat a very low sugar diet. So I am going to add in some barbecue sauce. We like the Sweet Baby Ray's. This is actually uh, Aldi's version of like Sweet Baby Ray's. So I kind of just drizzle it a little bit. Now, do keep in mind that this sausage is salt and pepper sausage. So it does have some salt and pepper in it. It's not just completely plain sausage. So I'm going to just drizzle it across, not too heavily. Not like when you're making, um, like sloppy joes. So just a few tablespoons. And then this is the secret ingredient. And y'all, I cannot remember if I filmed making this last year. This is the sweet pepper relish that I like to make every year. My family absolutely loves it. Sometimes it's green, sometimes it's red, depending on which bell peppers I put in it. If I did make it last year and film it, I mean, I made it, but I don't know if I filmed it. If I filmed it, I'll leave the link below for that video. If I did not film it, I will be filming it very soon with summertime coming on and I'll for sure show you all how to make this. It's so simple 
and totally worth it. This is one of the best toppings for burgers that exists. So I'm going to go ahead and just turn this down a little bit and grab a fork. And I don't really measure this, but I'm just gonna drop in some, I don't know, a couple tablespoons of the sweet pepper relish along with the barbecue sauce. And then I'd like to stir it and just kind of figure out about, making sure that's turned down, about how much I have in it. I kind of know how I want it to look a little bit, you know, uh, darker in color, but not a tremendous amount. That's why I'm not adding a ton of the barbecue sauce. So just going to put this all in there and I can kind of see when the peppers are kind of spread throughout the meat as well. I would say that probably needs just a little bit more barbecue sauce. All right, you can hear my husband out there finishing up the weed whacking around the place. <laughs> we all have a lot going on today, trying to get it all squeezed in. And we've rescheduled taking family pictures a couple of times. And finally, my sister-in-law, who is a photographer who takes pictures, um, just kind of set a day and told me and my brothers to all just come and we're gonna all get our pictures taken. So, works out perfectly. All right, I'd say that that is pretty good. I'm gonna leave it on low and just let the flavors kind of combine. Pretty happy with that. So to build the potato, we just kind of smash it out and I have a little bit of melted butter over here as well. So I'm just going to take and smear that all over the inside of the potato and kind of try to group it all together so we can pile our toppings on top of the potato. Then we're gonna take the pork and pile that on top of here as well. And of course, this is all going, the serving size of this is all going to depend on who is eating it <laughs> in our household. Then I like to put some cheddar cheese on top of that. Then a nice big blob of sour cream. You could go crazy with these toppings. I mean, I've even done stuff like broccoli. You could add extra veggies to this. We will just be eating this with some leftover veggies from last night. But I like to use my canned jalapenos on here as well. You can put hot sauce across it. Really a lot of different flavor combinations. And there you have it, a great loaded baked potato. And it's absolutely delicious. I think everyone that we've ever had over and had a baked potato bar enjoys this combination as well with the ground sausage. Ha, 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 ha.